The Nucleus and Company by Joe Meyer and Anthony Constantino. Here is a quick preview of the topic covered today by a well-renowned scientist who wishes to remain anonymous as he is currently being hunted down by the Russian Mafia for reasons unknown. The nucleus is often referred to as the control center of the cell, since this structure ultimately directs the cell's many activities. The nucleus contains the macromolecule vital to all life, deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane, which is composed of a double layer of lipids and proteins. The nuclear membrane controls access to the instructions encoded within the DNA. The DNA found in the nucleus contains coded messages called genes that each cell uses to make thousands of different proteins, enabling it to live and to reproduce. The instructions encoded along the DNA are eventually passed on to successive generations of cells as each parent cell divides. When cells begin to divide, the chromatin, containing DNA and protein, condenses and forms rod-shaped bodies called chromosomes. Chromosomes are responsible for carrying the hereditary information from one generation to the next. The nucleus has four major functions. They include storing genetic material, such as DNA. It also acts like the brain of the cell, controlling all of the functions of the individual organelles surrounding the nucleus. All expressed traits of an organism originate from the DNA that is protected in the nucleus. Here is a lovely diagram of the nucleus and its suborganelles. These organelles include the nuclear envelope, consisting of an outer and inner membrane, the nucleolus, located in the center of the nucleus, the nucleoplasm, which is a gel-like substance between the nucleolus and nuclear envelope, chromatin, which is suspended in the nucleoplasm, ribosomes, which pepper the outer membrane, and nuclear pores, which are holes which allow substances, such as mRNA, passage through the envelope. This short, action-packed clip illustrates the idealistic eukaryotic animal cell. This shows the relationship and scale of the nucleus to the other organelles in the cell. This is a close-up view of the nucleus with its nuclear envelope and pores. The nucleolus is now highlighted in yellow to show its ideal location. Next, the nucleoplasm is highlighted, which consists of most of the nucleus and suspends the chromatin. Although chromatin is located in the nucleoplasm, the majority of this nucleic acid is found, densely packed, in the region known as the nucleolus. The nucleolus is made of densely packed proteins and nucleic acids. It is located in the center of the nucleus and is the site of transcription of DNA onto the mRNA. This mRNA leaves the nucleus to join with ribosomes and create proteins. These ribosomes are made inside the nucleolus. The nuclear envelope protects and encloses the nucleus. It is made of a double lipid bilayer. This envelope consists of an inner and outer membrane. The outer membrane has ribosomes scattered around its surface. There are also nuclear pores which penetrate the inner and outer membrane. This allows for the transport of materials, specifically mRNA, in and out of the nucleus. Please enjoy our fiery text as you read through our extensive and extremely detailed bibliography. Probably out controlling the production of the proteins in the nucleolus. Right now, it's probably splitting chromatin to make chromosomes and process called mitosis. Right now, the nuclear envelope with its double membrane holds the cell together. And now I know. Before the next cell, the 